The topic of today's video is the simple check of checking a refrigerant charge. To do so, I recommend starting with the system in the off state. And the first step is we're going to take our adjustable wrench and we're going to remove our service valve caps. Once you've removed your caps, you then need to identify which line you're going to hook which hose of your refrigerant gauge set up to. There are two lines on every air conditioning system, a larger line that we call the suction line or low side of the system, and a smaller line that we call the high side or liquid side of the system. Respectfully, our suction line is cold and typically in an air conditioner, our liquid line is warm. So in terms of which gauge to hook up, Think blue for low side and red for high side. We'll take our gauge off of our manifold, connect it up to our service port, and turn it all the way in. And we'll do that with both the suction and the liquid line hoses. Once we've now connected our gauges, we can safely turn the system on to view our operating pressures of this air conditioner. An important piece to know before adequately being able to check charge is that we should let this system run for a total of around 10 minutes so that it can reach steady state operation and get a good read on pressure in relation to what the system is doing both indoors and outdoors. Once we've reached that steady state, we can then take a look at each of our gauge sets and get a good read on what our refrigerant is doing within that system. Again, the blue side is gonna be representative of our suction line pressure or our low side, which is indoors, and the red gauge set will be indicative of what our liquid line is doing or our pressure of the refrigerant in the outdoor condensing unit. Once you've powered on your system and reached a steady state of operation, it's always a good idea to remove the service panel of our air conditioning condensing unit and verify that the numbers on our gauge set match the pressure readings that we have printed on our Lennox charging charts. This will let you know if the refrigerant charge is adequate for the operating conditions that it's currently in.